Hi guys, welcome back to part two of my journal making um, uh, effort. Um, a few sort of like, just a quick recap, um, like little pockets, um, another little pocket there with bits and pieces in, um, a wee envelope there with um, a little insert. Um, then we go on to the next page. These ones I've shown you in the previous video, so I'm not going to go over them in great detail. So we've got um, pieces of paper so that you can do your journal writing notes on there. Um, and some more paper up there, little notelet hiding behind there. Then we've got um, this one, which has got like loads of little bits of um, paper that I've dyed myself. So they go in there. And then um, there was this flower one with another little notebook notelet on there for writing your journal entries in. And that's tucked away inside that wee envelope. And I believe that that's where we ended. So I'm just going to grab... Um, an envelope just so I can pop this in between the pages so I can just show you one side at a time so the next project that I did was a um, colour coordinated or matching um, matching effect so up here I have um, a little notepad just for writing your journal entries so that goes in that little pocket that I've made there because this is one continual pocket purse um, area this one is another little insert and you open it up and you've got your journal writing space there and that lives in that little one there and then I've got this big pocket here which has some writing area inside so that's that pocket chuck that one down in there tidy so that's what that one looks like so it's got some embellishment of ribbon on the side there well two types of ribbon it's got the um the butterfly ribbon and the lacy ribbon okay so the next side is um just a, a garden type theme um, in these little packets down the bottom here you've just got an area where you can do some journal writing and then one that's going the other way so um, there's two different types but different layout in a way the ways that they're lying so that's that page So our next page is quite busy, but what I've done is I've actually put in some pieces of paper so you can see where my pockets are. So you've got some pockets here to actually add some um, tickets. Here I have um, a double belly band, okay? So this is a double belly band. I've got some labels which I've got on the top piece. If I take this out of here... So I've got the top piece where I've got labels and then underneath I had this which is um, just a, a piece of card with um, writing paper on it and then another piece where you can write at the bottom. Sorry if my hands are getting in the way but and then that goes into the underneath of the belly band. So I have two layers, so if I can show you with a pencil. Okay, so I've got the top layer and then I've got the bottom layer. All right, so that, that's that one. And the next side I've got, I've made um, an envelope insert. Um, so this has got a belly band on with some writing area. which lives there so when you flick over the envelope i've also got some 
writing paper which are um, my own dyed paper again um, for doing your journaling and that lives on the inside of that envelope okay and then on this side just to complement the one that we've already got i've got the um a little bit of card where you can do a label where you can do some writing lives in that little envelope effect just here which i think is quite sweet so that concludes that page okay just then we move to our centre pages. So I'm going to uncover this because it is all the same thing. Um, now up in here I have pockets for you to put in your in your tickets, your labels, your photographs, anything that you want to pop in there. And then when you open these up, you have massive amounts of journaling space. And they open up like cards on both sides. Okay, so that's your centre. On the one on the, this side, I have some um, clear cellophane, which I've made into a pocket. And inside the pocket, I have a piece of card, which you can write on on the back. So it's just a designed piece of card, where you can do your journal entries on the back, and then that can live inside your pocket. This one I think is quite pretty. I made a corner pocket here. Now, this corner pocket has a notepad. Well, we'll start at the back of the corner pocket. We have um, we have a place for tickets or for labels. Then we have some coffee dyed paper. Then we have the outside of the pocket which has been decorated then we have the pocket at the back of this piece which contains that i'll go back to that in a second so we have our pocket our, our corner item with a pocket at the back and then this is paper coffee dyed with a little label pocket at the back of that so that is just one complete unit then to go in the tuck here, I've made a large um, piece of card, made it into a little booklet. Inside I have um, a belly band for some cards. I also have some coffee dyed paper for writing. And I also have a mini envelope to do some more journaling. And as I say, on the front there's some space there to do some journaling and then that lives inside the pocket just like that okay so on to the next page um i've done like a like a, a word envelope it's got a little hole down area here which is just um just to keep that flap neat and tidy words all over now this opens up so that you can actually do your writing you can um put some hidden words underneath these areas if you wanted to keep some bits and bobs private and there's another flap there for doing some more so that's just a little bit of interest on the inside of that envelope. Okay, and as I say, I've got another um, little pocket here um, with some little bits of writing material inside. Then when you move across to the next page, just following on the word theme, I've got this piece of card here that has a belly band on the top, which has got your labels, um, your writing pieces of little notelet papers, um, and then some more note writing paper at the top here. And this actually opens up into a little booklet as well. 
where you can do some journal writing on the inside. Just excuse my fingers coming into shot, but I just need to slip that in there. All right, so then this one is just a just a page with um, writing areas on, um, just embellished with these little circles, but nothing exciting going on there. It's pretty basic. And then we've got um, another pocket. I'll just take that one out for a second. Alrighty, so with this pocket, you can either just have this pocket opening or you can have a massive one just glue down these edges or glue across the top and across there and have the slip under there. So across the top and then you'll have a big pocket there. Or if you've got a very large journal, you can turn this round um, and have this opening facing out to the scent, you know, to the outside of your journal. On the inside of this pocket, I've popped a little notebook that I've made. It's um, been machine stitched and it contains my coffee dyed paper that I made. So that pops in, in there like so. Let's get this bit of paper under here again. Alrighty, so on this one then, just a load of Zenfora with uh, um, a little fold-out note writing area. So you can write in there, close it up when you're done, and then just press down on a little tab and it will stay down. And then on this page, just got a little writing area inside the, the journal page. Okay, one's up. And then finally on the oops, on the last pages here, I have a little tuck pocket with some papers in that you can write on. And then um, on this back page then I've just got some pockets that you can um, just pop some of those bits of paper in that you've just written on if you want to or something smaller. It depends on, you know, what you want to pop in there. So that, I'm going to keep the back page clear, so I've got something for the, um, the journal to sit on, so it's not going to get damaged. Um, that concludes my um, attempt at journaling, um, my first attempt. So um, it's quite thick, lots of goodies in there that, um, that I've been practicing and trying to master. By watching videos on YouTube and what have you. So I hope you enjoyed this part of the video. But I do have one more little thing to show you. Okay, so um, I ventured into um, making envelopes. Because uh, I needed some for, um, for a card that I made as a wedding present. So here is the size of the first envelope that I made. Um, let's grab a ruler. This one is um, do it in inches. Um, it's sort of nine inches across and sort of like six inches deep. So you know, and as you can see, it's a very nice envelope. Um, as I said, I just made a card, so I've got piece of card in there but that's this is just my demo stuff so i'll move that one out the way then we move down to a smaller one and then inside i've got cards in there but i won't bore you with that so there's my next size envelope down and i thought well this one's my biggest so how small can i go so i thought you know I can go this small. And the measurements on that one are just over one and a half inches by just over one inch. And it is a properly functioning envelope. As you can see, it's got a little flap. And then inside, 
I have a little bee. So that is a proper functioning little envelope. But wait. How about this one? <laughs> I'm going to need a piece of white paper, I think. Let's use this um, envelope here. So there we have uh, the smallest envelope I've ever attempted. So we are looking three quarters of an inch by half an inch. Or just over a centimetre if you're going to go for that one. And this too is a fully functional envelope. So. I can't see it there. So there. Let me get, use my other hand. So there's the little tiny envelope. I turn it around. Got the little tiny flap. And inside the tiny little flap. Use my finger, sorry I'm making you dizzy. There's a tiny little flower. And that lives in my tiny little envelope. So you can never be too large or too small. Anyway. I will see you next time, hopefully, with uh, some more videos. Sorry if I made you really seasick and giddy on this one. But um, I'll uh, see you again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Get creative. Bye.